Welcome to Technical Studies. Eccentric cone is an integral part of pressure vessel fabrication. There are several methods to lay out an eccentric cone. In this video, I will show you how to lay out an eccentric cone in the easiest method. To make a layout, we need to calculate the circumference of the top and bottom sides of the cone. To calculate the circumference, we need to know the mean diameter of the cone's bottom and top. Deduct one thickness from the diameter to get the mean diameter. Assume the base diameter of the cone is 650 mm and the thickness is 10 mm, the mean diameter is 650 minus 10 is equal to 640 mm. Similarly, deduct 10 mm from 450 to get the mean diameter of the top side. In this layout, the bottom and top mean diameters are 640 mm and 340 mm respectively, and the height is 400 mm. Draw the front view of the cone on a plate or on a suitable surface. Extend lines AC and BD until bisecting each other at E. Draw a half circle of diameter of the bottom side and divide it into eight equal parts. Draw arcs as shown. Remember, we are going to lay out half part of the cone only means, actually, we are dividing the bottom into 16 parts. Draw lines from 1A, 2A, 3A, etc. to point E. Draw line EF. This is a reference line only. Draw arc FG. The length shall be a little more than the half circumference of the bottom diameter. Again, this arc is only for a reference of the half circumference length. Draw arcs EB, E7A, E7B, etc. Let us calculate the circumference of the bottom side. The formula is diameter multiplied by 3.142. Since the diameter is 640, multiply it by 3.142. The answer is 2010.8 millimeters. To calculate the arc length of one segment, divide the circumference 2010.8 by 16. The length of one arc is 125.68 mm. Starting from FE line, draw arcs of 125.68 mm as shown. If it is difficult to maintain 125.68 mm on the divider, you can draw one arc 125 and the next arc 126 etc. But, be careful, the final arc, shall be within the limit of plus or minus 3 mm. Draw a curved line connecting these intersections. Draw a line connecting E to A, this is the center line of the cone. Let us draw the top portion of the cone. The procedure is similar to that of the bottom side. Draw arcs, ED, EA, EB, etc. Calculate the circumference of the top side and divide it by 16. Top side diameter is 340 mm. The length of one arc segment is 66.77 mm.
draw arcs, as, done previously. Draw lines, connecting these marks. Now, we have the half layout of the cone. I suggest, making a template of this layout and marking the other side, or you can complete the layout by repeating the same method. Thank you for watching the video. If you like this video, please subscribe, like and comment. Please share with your friends.